Hello, my name is Aaron Hall with Joseph and Hall. Um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about enforcement priorities, um, DHS enforcement priorities. So what are those? That is what the agency that is ICE, the immigration agency, uses to decide which people it is going to try to arrest and or deport. And um, so under the previous administration, under the Trump administration, the priorities were let's try to arrest and deport everybody we can, everybody who might be deportable. And under the Biden administration, they wanted to change that. So in 2021, DHS Secretary Mayorkas released a priorities memo and was promptly sued about it. And the lawsuit put the priorities on hold. They weren't in effect for a long time. But this June, the Supreme Court made a decision in favor of the Department of Homeland Security. And the Department of Homeland Security has just confirmed that those priorities are back in effect. So what does that mean for you? Well, it means there are three categories of people that are deportable that, the, uh, that ICE is going to be going after in general. The first would be threats to national security. And so that is where we're talking about like terrorism or espionage, those kind of things. The second is threats to public safety. That is generally based on criminal convictions or criminal conduct. But it says that there's no category of, of crime that automatically makes one a priority. So for example, if a lot of time has passed since the conviction, or if there are other mitigating factors like um, about why something happened, or if there's great evidence that the person has been re rehabilitated, they might not fit in that category. And the third category is border security. So anybody who entered illegally after November 1st, 2020 is considered a threat in that category. So um, what does that mean if you're not an enforcement priority? Well, it may mean that while you were arrested or put into removal proceedings prior to these priorities going into effect, that you shouldn't be considered a priority anymore, which may mean that you should be released from custody or that they should dismiss um, removal proceedings against you. And so if you think that, uh, that you might not fit in these categories or a loved one might not fit in these categories, it's time to revisit your case and revisit the strategy on your case. Um, if you have questions about this or want to talk about it further, we would be happy to do a consultation with you. Um, you would just need to contact our office and we'll get one scheduled as soon as possible. Thank you.